All right, it's game night, you're playing Mafia. You have nine players and you have four different roles. Three Mafia, one police, one doctor, and four villagers in the game. Now, you need to randomly assign each player a role. If you're playing in person, then sure, you can just shuffle the names manually and give each person a role. But what if you're playing online or you want to build an app that other people can use as well? How do you randomly assign the roles? So here's our challenging code. We have a list of nine players, Nancy, Dimitri, and so on. And we have a list of nine roll cards. So the only thing we need to do is to shuffle this roles list. You'd think you could just type roles.shuffle, right? Nope, a Python list out of the box doesn't know how to shuffle. So your program will crash. We could try to write a complex algorithm to shuffle the list ourselves, but that is difficult and prone to errors. Here you can see an attempt that is done here, and you can see it's a lot of code and prone to errors. The smart solution is to use a tool someone else has already perfected. Python comes with hundreds of these toolkits called modules for all sorts of tasks. The toolkit for shuffling and randomness is called random. To open this toolkit so that we can use it in our code, we simply write import random at the top of our program. Once we have done that, we have access to all its tools, including shuffling. Now we just use the shuffle method from the random module to shuffle our roles list in place. All right, let's see this in practice. All right, we have our nine players and we have the mafia roles here. Let me first print the roles. Let me first run the, the cell that Python knows these two variables. Now let's print our mafia players, the roles, sorry. Let's first try and see if the roles list has the shuffle method implemented. Let's run this. And as we see, we get an error because the Python list doesn't basically have the shuffling option. As mentioned in the slides, it is quite complex and error prone to have our own shuffling method or shuffling function implemented. So what we need to do is to use what is already built. And that is to use the random module that has this shuffling functionality offered. What we need to do now is to import the random module. Usually as a convention, we always import modules at the top of our program or script. So we will import random and then we will have just random.shuffle and then we will give our list roles and this will this line will shuffle our list in place. So let's run this and I forgot to run this cell that Python knows. All right, now let's Run it now. Now let me print again, print roles, and you will see that it is a bit different now. Now you see villager, villager, doctor, villager, it is shuffled, but before it was mafia, mafia, mafia. I'm gonna complete the program a little bit to assign each of these uh, roles to each of the players. For this, we can have a, let's say, role dictionary, which is, in the beginning empty and then we can use a for loop using the range uh, function so we can do for i in range lengths of let's say players which will be nine basically what we do is we can say player and we get the player from players and then the role which we get it from the roles list but this roles list now is shuffled, randomly shuffled. And now we can add, so the key will be the player and the value will be the role. And we can print our dictionary that we can see which role is assigned to who. So basically we loop from zero to nine, we have nine players. And each time we pick the player, from our list, right? So first time it will be Nancy, but the roles is shuffled. So, and then 
the, the first role for Nancy will be villager, for example. Now let's run the code. And now we see that Nancy is villager, Dimitri is villager, or the doctor, and so on. All right, the setup is complete, but a mafia game isn't just a setup. It's about the drama, the pauses, the suspense. A good moderator controls the pace of the game. To do that in our code, we need another toolkit, another module, the time module. So let's import the time module and simulate the simple night phase in the mafia game. So it will be import time and we will simulate the first phase of the game. So let's print the game begins. Now we will use the sleep function from the time module to pause the program. Let's say we will pause for and then we will provide. So the two is the seconds, the amount of sleep. So we will sleep for two seconds. So Python will stop here for two seconds. So we will say the game begins. We will let everybody two seconds to be prepared. And then um, let's say we will say uh, night falls. Everyone close your eyes. And then now we will use again the time module and let's say we will give everyone three seconds to close their eyes. And now as a moderator, we will say mafia, wake up and identify each other. And then we will give using the sleep method we will give let's say five seconds for the mafia to know each other and then we will say mafia go back to sleep and we will give two seconds for mafia to go back to the sleep and now we will say day breaks everyone wake up all right, let's run the code and see our first night of Mafia game. As you see, the reason it appears slowly is because there are these pauses in between each print. If these were not there, it would have run very immediately. In this video, we started with a problem, shuffling rolls and solved it with import random. Then we had a new problem pacing the game and solved that with import time. This is how real programming works. You identify a need and you find the right toolkit, Python modules basically for the job. We don't need to reinvent the wheels. We just use what is already built. There are dozens of Python modules that you can use to build your programs. But for now, it's out of the scope of this video. Keep coding and see you in the next video.